Okay. So, my friend has a birthday coming up, and she loves Harry Potter. So, on Pinterest, I happened to come across this picture of a Harry Potter wine glass. So, I decided that I was going to imitate it. It didn't really give me instructions, but I figured it's not that hard to figure out. So, first, you'll need a wine glass. I got this from the dollar store. It's thick, and it's pretty sturdy. They have different shapes and different sizes, but you're going to want to get one that's nice and big so that you have room to do the hair, the scar, and then the glasses that you're going to be making. You will need black multi-surface paint or you'll need black glass paint, whatever you can find. Mod Podge. And then red and gold glitter. I got these from Hobby Lobby, but you can get them anywhere really. You can even get the cheap ones from the dollar store. I just wanted to use a little bit extra fine is what these are. You'll need a paintbrush, a container to put your paint in, one of those round spongy type of a uh, paintbrush and then to finish you're going to need crystal clear acrylic spray. So first I want to start with the face. It's going to take a couple steps to finish this because you're going to need to let it dry. So the first step will be the face and then the next step we'll be doing the gold stripes and then once those dry we'll do the red stripes. So first I'm going to take this little spongy and then normal paintbrush and you unless you're really good at circles you could probably do this freehand but I'm not very artsy so this is how I'm gonna do it you wanna get a little bit on the end and you just kinda wanna paint around the edge of the sponge and then this will give you as close to a perfect circle as possible and it's gonna take some time It's okay if it kind of smudges a little bit because you're really just going to use this to give yourself a circle outline and then you're going to kind of fill it in freehand when it's actually on the glass. Like I said, I've never done this before so I hope this works out. Okay, so it should look something like that. And then you just kind of want to get a good even spot in the middle, kind of figure out how you want to do your hair. And then you're just going to press it on lightly. It should leave a print that looks like that, which is what you want. And then you're just going to, like I said, kind of freehand in the rest. My best friend is extremely artsy, so she's better at stuff like this, but I figured since she always makes me really cute things, I'm going to make them for her. And this is her 21st birthday, so it has to be extra special. And you can make the glasses thin or you can make them thick, whatever looks good, whatever you want to do. If you kind of smudge on the edge, it's okay to make them thick so that it evens it out. Okay, so not perfect, but I'm not very artsy and she knows that, so she'll still love it. And it'll look something like that by the time you're done with it. Okay, so now you're just going to do the same thing for the other side of the glasses. Just paint the edge. Okay, and then you want to get it as even as possible, I'd say probably about a half inch apart from each other. It's a little off, but that's alright. And then just do the same thing, go ahead and fill it in. 
And I promise the more videos I make, the better they're going to be quality-wise. This is just a trial run. And just a quick tip too, if you have a Joann's and a Hobby Lobby and a Michael's in your area, I usually go to Joann's because they take coupons from competitors. Hobby Lobby only allows you one forty percent off coupon for each transaction. You could be the pain in the butt customer that separates it into multiple transactions, but I think that's just kind of a waste of time. So what you should do is just go to Joann Fabrics, see what they have, use as many coupons as you can that are not already on sale, because if it's already on sale, you can't use it. All right, so that's what they look like when they're done. Not perfect, but not bad. So now we want to do the glasses band that goes over the nose. And you don't want to do just a straight line across, you kind of want to give it a little bit of an arch. So it should look, sorry my camera's off a little bit, it should look something like that. And then now you want to do the edges of the glasses that go around the ear. You can kind of play around with this one. I don't really, like I said, I'm not very artsy, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Or you don't have to do any bands if you don't want to. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wing like that. And then you want the other side to be matching as best as you can. Some people make this look really easy, but I'm quite the amateur, as I'm sure you can tell. Okay, so not perfect, but it's cute. It's from the heart, so those are the glasses. So look at part two and I'll teach you how to do the hair and the scar.